Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Feast School. Episode, are we really already at episode 40? That's, that's crazy. Okay, let's do this. Today, I'm going to address four ways you can better take online classes because of the Corona virus and because of all the fires and PG&E, they have been doing online classes and not going actually to campus. Um, they can be pretty intimidating, but if you get the hang of it and understand the concept of how to handle online classes, which I will talk about today, then you will be on the right track to succeed. Let's get this move on. Welcome back to another episode of Luke Talks, bros. First, you'll have to find a great study space where it's isolated, away from distractions, and where you can focus easily. Organization is also important because if you are rummaging trying to find things that you don't know where it is, it's going to hold you back and you're just going to be stressed and you're going to be distracted. So this is where I keep all my textbooks. This was from my face uh, show from book review and my textbooks for my classes are all in there. Also make sure you have the necessary equipment for your class and what they require. Make sure you get the textbook on time. Each community college has their own website that you can pretty much communicate with your teachers and look at your assignments. And it's basically the website for your online classes. Be sure to always keep up to date being communicative with your teachers and peers about the assignments and what you have to do with your uh, future work. Now most classes have video lectures, um, some have Zoom meeting calls, I, don't, I haven't done that, I've just watched video lectures. When you take an online class and watch a video lecture for instance, treat it like a real class. Take notes and dissect what the teacher is talking about because when you look at an online class it's easy to get distracted and not treat it like a real class because usually you're in the comfort of your own home. It's not as pushing you outside of your comfort zone to you don't have to wake up drive to school take the bus to school get to school it's different it's like you have to stay in home and focus on your classes and it's easy to get distracted another idea that can help you succeed in online classes is creating a ritual for yourself i like to create a schedule wake up and write a list of all the assignments, all the personal goals, and all the health goals I want to do for myself. Now morning rituals are good. Maybe you want to wake up and exercise, maybe you want to wake up and take a cold shower, but something that helps you feel good about yourself. Maybe you want to wake up and have positive affirmations somehow. It's important to communicate with yourself positively, telling yourself you can do this, and also communicating with your teachers and communicating with your peers if needed about um, assignments and other things that may be coming up. And it's also very important to communicate with yourself by taking notes and thoroughly making sure what you're writing is in correlation to what the teacher is communicating. Okay, so this is one of my history textbooks. When you have a textbook, sometimes the chapters are going to be bulky, but um, for this class, I have a long time to finish each chapter, so I pretty much, it's easy, for example, when you have a long deadline, it's easy to just procrastinate every day and say, I'll just do it tomorrow because it's, it's not due for a while, but then you'll be rushing to do it at the end of the week or month or whenever it's due. So what I do is I take sticky notes and write, okay, I'm gonna read this that day, this this day, and you can see there's sticky notes inside this textbook. Another thing is annotation. Now, if you come across a word you don't really know, you can circle it and say, okay, I'll come back to this word, do research on it. And you can also underline important sentences. Let's say you're reading a textbook and you think, oh, this might be important for the quiz. This might definitely be on the quiz. You can underline it and, make sure, and get back to it 
and review your notes and study off it. Anyway, oh wait, what? Oh, I was totally distracted. Speaking of distractions, when you are doing online classes, the fourth tip that I have is minimizing distractions. Now, minimizing distractions can be hard because when you're taking online classes and you're on your computer and you also have Steam on your computer, you'll want to go to Steam and play games instead of what you're supposed to do. But I have some tips to get around this that I have worked on myself with. So first, you're gonna wanna put your phone on mute. And one time I was supposed to be reading a history book and then my friends FaceTimed me and we went into this long conversation. I totally got distracted. I love my friends to death, but sometimes you gotta focus on work. So minimizing social media is important unless it, the social media is needed for the assignment. That's a whole different story. And if you're a gamer, which I am, you're gonna have to find ways to separate your gaming life from your work life. A great way, I, I have a tip for this actually. So let's say you play video games and you work in the same room, that might not be a good idea because if you're working and you see your Xbox or you have your Steam app open, you're gonna be all like, oh, I'll just play games, I'll do this later. But a way to get around this is have a lounge area room and then have a gaming room or a lounge, a gaming room and a study room separately. So if you're studying and you won't see the game or you won't be distracted by the opportunity to play the game, but when you finish your assignment, then you're like, oh, thank God. And then you can go lounge, but you have to earn it. And that's a better method to accomplish your goals. Another thing is family. Now, um, sometimes family can distract you. Let's say you're doing something really important and you have a distraction. You hear your siblings bantering or you hear your uh, spouse or parents yelling. That can be distracting. So, it's good to go in a room that is isolated where you can focus. Thank you for watching this episode of Feast School. Say hi to the camera, Gia. Hi, Gia. Hi, it's Gia. Anyways, thank you for watching. Subscribe for self esteem. Welcome back to another episode of Luke Talks, bros.